Hello fellow pilots and squadron leaders of um, dogfighters. It's me, Bernard, and I want to give you today a short update on what's going on actually. What are we doing um, after the Kickstarter is before the Kickstarter? <laughs> and uh, Marcus and me, we took a little time to, yes, um, to, to sort ourselves out and now we're starting um, Yes, with with uh, with full production, uh, with sourcing of companies um, which can do the miniatures for us. For example, we're actually waiting on some samples um, from companies we we are in contact with. And um, yes, for example, what we did already is uh, we purchased the recycled leather materials um, where our folders are made of so they are here approximately three to four weeks and um, then we can start with production of the folders already and yes this is what Marcus is doing he's um, sorting things out he's sourcing um, and managing the production uh, production part of the game and I am doing the campaign part of the game um, because the campaign was one of the first books I wrote um, after we did the draft rule book and uh, so it's time to take it on again and to bring it up to date and what we did um, with the campaign book I show you here if you remember we had a lot of text um, with, with all these books left as scenario and on the right side a scenario you see now a map yes um, it's one of the maps actually here so you see on one on one side on one view do I need two maps or do I need one map and you have the tokens um, in the middle of the map so you get on one on with one blink of an eye you see how to set up the mission and um, you see it on the left side for example here you see a blue line so this is the setup area where I can choose where to enter um, the game map so um, yes this is um, really easy to read and if you flip through the campaign book for example of course we need more space yes we need more pages um, but I think the trade-off is worth it because you, you, you yes you just um, switch the sides and you take a look on the missions and maybe um, you get an impression or you will get a faster impression on how to set up the mission you see here for example this one um, is, is with all two maps set together and how to set up. What you can see for example is the setup zone for the Bavarians and you see the setup for the pirates in scenario 6 um, of the introductionary mission. And here a big thanks to Christian or um, also known as Conor in our discord group who did this marvelous aircrafts um, we um, we sent him the, the rendered draft of, of our aircraft and he used him he used him for his uh, virtual uh, foundry virtual tabletop simulator mod and um, yes if you are interested in this for example um, just uh, call him on, on discord um, he will will be happy to explain you and we will maybe we'll do um, these uh, foundry tabletop uh, simulated games host by ourselves but our first priority is to to do the yes to do the board game for you all and you here, see here it enhances the yes the immersive effect absolutely it's it's looking so brilliant um, yes simply simply um, a great idea and we will set up all the missions um, in this kind of manner. Also in the in the main rule book the missions will also be explained in the same way so um, it will become a little bit more detailed and more easy to get a grip on how to set up the, the mission of the campaign and the mission um, themselves. What you see here now are um, the squadron sheets of the Americans for example I'm actually working with but the big thing I'm actually working with is what you see here and this is also a thing um, which came into life by a lot of feedback of you guys this is um, the Mindelheimer Luftknechte squadron sheet it's an air mercenary squadron 
And um, if you remember, they have um, they have a part in the Aelbor campaign book. Um, they can be, must be played in the co-op or solo mission and missions, <laughs> I have to say. And they are they, they play a little bit different. Yes, you see, for example, the Patreon faction up there. Yes, so the mercenaries have to choose a Patreon faction. Um, one of the factions they are yes more friendly or more aligned with and um, you see the checkboxes by the aircrafts and the airships for example so an air mercenary squadron um, must choose a patreon um, and from this faction fighters fighter bombers standard fighters for example whatever airships um, they cost the same as for a house unit um, but and if you um, must repair them they don't cost you any fame yes same like like a militia unit but if you choose to buy, um, yes, an aircraft or an airship from another faction, um, you have to pay a little bit more to acquire them. And if they get damaged, you must pay in fame to repair them. So it's not a no-brainer to get the most beautiful plane. Um, they're all beautiful, but <laughs> uh, not to get the best planes from every faction um, because you have to choose um, is it worth to get this one? Yes. Do I? Uh, can I afford the additional costs? Can I afford the additional upkeep of the aircraft? And this is uh, what the checkboxes are for. Yes. So you have to to check if this is an aircraft of your Patreon faction um, or if it is a foreign one. So, yes, this brings in a little bit more of. Of, of decisions, yes, tactical decisions, um, how to set up your your company, your squadron, and yes, this is the first draft, and this came into effect by a lot of feedback of you from, from you guys, yes, from Kickstarter, from the reviewers, from our Discord, from Facebook, and um, this is the the best thing, yes, to to get things to become things become true, yes, feedback from our supporters. And what I'm working actually to are the aircraft sheets of the Americans, for example. You will see them in, in a quick overview here. They have to be redone with some, yes, some writings. And um, but in essence, they are done. Yes. External load um, must be adjusted, but in the end. Mainly they are done. Okay, so what are we doing beside all of this? It's a lot of things we're doing actually, but we're not we're not stopping here. Because if you remember the one of the last Dogfighter weeklies, um, we mentioned ancient brewery uncovered. So we um, are setting full ahead with an additional campaign which leads the Bavarians and the Saxons into the Egyptian deserts and there they will meet um, a little bit more factions um, and yes take a look or hunt um, for the original recipe of of beer of Egyptian beer so the drafts are done the mission structure is set up and this is, um, is, is going full ahead additionally um, I am working on a campaign that will lead you to the Southern Bavarian Alps and where you will once again take control of the Mindelheimer Luftknechte, Mindelheimer, Mindelheimer Air Mercenaries and they will battle pirates which set up their base on top of the Zugspitze, uh, one of, of yes, the biggest mountain in uh, Southern Bavaria and uh, yes this will be a challenging a challenging campaign for um, for you guys but um, what has what is of more importance is the US American campaign because the US American campaign will be delivered with its own campaign and um, this is um, yes of, of high priority for us to get um, to get this one done so you see a lot of a lot of things actually going on and Yes, uh, now you see some inspiration, um, which <laughs> I, I couldn't stop myself um, for painting these beautiful milk cows in Mindelheimer Luftknechte Kamo. 
and I have to admit, I have a problem. I have a milk cow addiction. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but I love this aircraft. It's so beautiful. And if you ever come to Mindelheim, take a look at the, um, at the city walls. Uh, you will remember um, the lily banner, and uh, you will see it's it's, it's just just gorgeous. I love black and white. Uh, black and yellow is such a an awesome combination of colors, and I think they look really good. So you see a lot of things going uh, in in parallel, but full speed ahead with with dogfighters. We're not idle. Um, we're not um, sitting still. We're actually doing. We're working on a lot of fronts. Um, but on the other hand, yes, we, we still have to wait for for things to happen. Where uh, Marcus and me, we we both have a problem. We can't sit still, and uh, we we. Want to have everything now, and but if you're working with other companies, you have to be patient to um, to a certain point um, until you get the things you ordered and or you get the samples or yes. But we're working on it, and the things we can do, for example, with the campaigns, um, we're doing as fast as we can. I think we will be ready with the campaigns in the course of the next yes um, until end of August the latest yes so this is what we're actually standing and uh, I can only say thank you once again and invite you to get in contact with us um, write us your ideas write us what you're thinking on certain ideas because uh, we can take we can talk about everything yes uh, I cannot um, promise that we will um, take everything um, and, and uh, put it into effect but we can talk about uh, these things and uh, sometimes they come into effect, like the Tesla coil, for example, or um, your, a lot of other things. The, for example, like we're treating the mercenary sheets. This is something, yes, you guys um, suggested and um, I'm, I'm so proud of it and that, it's, uh, that we are able to get all this feedback and to, to pack it into something, yes, big into 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 this game um, to make this game even better so yes that's the point where where we are standing actually um, thank you for your patience and we will be back um, with another update as soon as possible and thank you so far see you you're Bernard